After three. One, two, three. Well, this may look like any other class, but because of the COVID-19 issue, these students are participating in PE with a twist. They are participating in a yoga class. This is an alternative to get them moving and engaged. Especially having as much time off as they have had over the summer, they really need a chance to interact with each other. Um, having funding for art, music, and PE gives them that opportunity that they might not have otherwise um, by just supplying instructors, first and foremost, as well as equipment. All right, let me see your turtle pose. Okay, so this is really great. Um, this is Go Noodle, and this is something that a lot of it is free, but we're also able to get funding for subscriptions and things like that. Um, as well as physical equipment that we can touch. With the advent of all things virtual, physical education is no different. They have a Zoom meeting for that too. The students are expected to be a part of the class and turn in progress reports. Hey, anything else you need to know you'll find on the virtual classroom. And I'll go through that again just for anybody who may need a little refresher or reminder. Across the top, these are called tabs. Virtual classroom. This will walk you through everything you need to do. So every Tuesday, usually at 1.15, is when we meet live. The way things are now, um, we have to kind of split our space. Uh, we can't have large groups of students together, so we have to divide them with the adults that we have um, for social distancing and things like that. Um, what that means is um, I usually spend about half my time in, and then we flip-flop out. So tomorrow, we'd be outside, and they might be inside kind of thing. Um, we have the field out there, but since this is kindergarten with this group, we aren't ready to venture that far out yet. Um, so yes, when we're outdoors, we're able to do a lot more with equipment and things, and hopefully in the next few weeks a little more even.